listening. Edward Adu. BBC Three Counties Radio. Around this time, we open up the Wednesday Music Club where we talk about the latest music news and releases. And we're joined by a special guest every week. And joining me tonight is Jessica Biggs, music journalist at Music Vein. Um, hi, Jessica. Hi. How are you doing? You well? Good evening. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. So lots going on. Let's start off mm-hmm. with the really sad news, the passing of a Slipknot drummer, Joey Jordison, at the age of 46. We don't know the cause mm-hmm. of death, but this is... This obviously came, uh, well, it comes as a shock, and it's uh, come in the week that we have been looking at the 10th anniversary of Amy Winehouse's death, just played an Amy track. Um, mm-hmm. Did you see the documentary, Jessica? Jessica? I did, yeah. The uh, we came in Amy. Um, so, it was, it was released um, for the 10th anniversary of her death, and um, being a, a big Amy Winehouse fan, I was really, really looking forward to this because um, it was meant to be set the story straight on who she was um, and that she was a lovable, fun person and not just troubled and an addict. But I didn't really feel that reclaiming tag come across, really. And how come? I mean, why, why did you get that vibe? Well, because there was nothing really new to the story. Um, all that they talked about was was that, I mean, her parents and her friends were just saying that there was a, a hidden side to Amy and that she was fun. But really, all they spoke about was, um, okay, so they said that she had some hidden mental health issues, which um, she covered with substance abuse. And then um, another friend said that um, Amy she gave the revelation that Amy was bisexual and I just thought well you know what it's 2021 who even cares why are we having this conversation about that that's a very good point it's a very good point I mean regardless of some someone's sexuality it's about them and what they want to do and I suppose to address it in a kind of posthumous uh, style documentary Mm -hmm. is probably Mm -hmm. just a bit a bit odd in some in some aspects it is it is and it was like 10 years later Amy can't put her story across, and if it was true, she can't talk about her struggle of trying to keep it secret if that's what was happening. But, you know, I just thought to myself, I was, I was quite let down by it, and I just thought this isn't really helping. What I would have liked to have seen or heard is more about um, if Amy did any good deeds, you know, if she uh, was a charitable person, all of that kind of thing I would have liked to know about. Now listen, fair points, and, um, and I respect your honesty. Um, big news today, and this is a very sad story. Katie Tunstall has cancelled her tour due to loss of hearing. Um, do, you mm. think it, do you think it's the end of her music career? It's, it's a hard one, really, to say. Um, so, yeah, we all know that she's already deaf in her left ear, um, and the trigger sign to that was that she had tinnitus uh, to start off with, and then she lost... She, you know, became 100% deaf in that ear. So now that it's happening in her right here, she's she's recognising the signs. Obviously, must be very scary for her. So that's why she's pulling back on doing her touring because um, what she later learned from going deaf in the left ear was that it was from you know the the obviously being in the stadiums and things like that 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 caused the severe deafness. So um, I mean, I can't imagine. Music has been her life for over 20 years, so it really must be um, devastating for her and to have to put, pull the brakes on now. But I think it's, it's for the best, and hopefully it doesn't ruin her career or, or make her have to um, look for a new direction. Yeah, listen, we wish her the best. And I played mm-hmm. one of his tracks earlier in the show. I mean, Dave is a busy, busy guy. He's got three entries inside the top five this week. Um, yeah. And- and also, he's been giving free trainers away. I've just had a look on, on Twitter earlier on in, in central London. He's been giving free trainers away. I mean, wow. The guy certainly is, well, talk of the town uh, at the moment. He really is. And wait, how do I not know about these new trainers? Why do I live so far away from London? <laughs> well, you know, them. listen, I know, listen, it's, it's a great gesture, but it just makes, you know, on the, on, on, on the flip side, I suppose it kind of shows how some people are a tad, materialistic it's like listen you know i'm just happy to have an ordinary pair of trainers but a particular st- st- style of trainers 
I suppose it's the connection with Dave. Dave giving away free okay. trainers, um, that will make, that literally that will put a smile on anyone's face. Oh yeah, for definite. And I guess it kind of goes with the um, track that he's got out at the moment with Stormzy because that's a bit, it's called Clash and it's a very uh, showy kind of um, track, you know, talking about how much bling he's got, what house he's got. But, um, and, and so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. He, he's just killing the top five at the moment. So you've got Clash that's going to be number two. You've got the Danks at three and In the Fire at four. And they're all from his new album, which is also heading to number one. So, yeah, he's doing brilliantly right now. He is a happy chap. He's ruining the charts at the moment. And <laughs> Bruce Springsteen and the E Street uh, Band, they're making, oh, a film, yeah. they're making a new film, aren't they? Yes, yes. So it's another one. Um, they've, done, they've done a couple. But so this one is the legendary 1975, sorry, no, 1979. It's the year of my birth, so I should even know that. Um, it's the No Nukes concert. So yeah, he's, um, it's rare footage from the time. Uh, it was filmed in Madison Square Garden. And it's a chance for people to go back and witness um, Bruce in his prime, really. Bit of a Brucey bonus. <laughs> you went there I'm not going to question why but it's, I love the connection and this is a great story about Pink um, tell us why she's been in the news this week alright oh, yes so um, the Norwegian um, handball team they decided that they would be wearing um, shorts in the competition rather than bikini bottoms and they were fined for it so um, in protest and um, Pink heard about this, so she said that she would pay their fines for them. You know, go Pink. I think that's brilliant of her to do. But, you know, also raising awareness for this feminist act is, is terrible. I mean, can you imagine being fined for wearing shorts and not wanting to, um, to wear bikini bottoms? It's ridiculous. But there's a fine for wearing any. This is this is mad. And uh, listen, yeah. I hope that story will sort itself out. And yeah, yeah, yeah it's just it's, it's 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 a bit it's a bit of a crazy story. Wanted to find out who are you watching out for at the moment. Who are your kind of big tips? Um, well, um, I, I get a lot of new music from upcoming or unsigned artists. Um, but at the moment, I am back in the Brits. So there's um, a British electronic duo called Hon um, and they've just got a, a new single out called What Would You Do so they're brilliant um, Jungle, another electronic group um, they dropped a single this evening actually called Truth um, but if you really want to get a flavour of who they are you should listen to Keep Moving um, that's a really funky, groovy, upbeat track and then the um, final guys are Project Blackbird and um, they released a single recently with Limbo Golden from the specials. Remember him? Yeah, of course. Wow. What, 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 what a collaboration. What a connection there. I know, isn't it? Yeah. So they did a um, track called Shape the Tree. And um, so it, it's kind of in the wake of George Floyd and all of the Black Lives Matter thing that was going on. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic track. And. Um, I'm really listening to that one at the moment. <laughs> There's, those are your big tips. Listen, Jessica, thank you very much for, for joining us and taking us through, giving us all the latest music news. And listen, hopefully we'll, we'll chat to you in a couple of weeks. Yay, thank you. I'd love that. Edward Adu. BBC. Three Counties Radio. Around this time, we open up the Wednesday Music Club where we talk.